first memory of professional wrestling was not the memory that got me into professional wrestling. I remember okay. very distinctly, my grandfather's watching the uh, Friday Night Smackdown on TV in the living room. I walk in and I see Rikishi do the stink face to Booker <laughs> T. And it's the one where Booker T gets sick and yeah, know, yeah, so yeah. Michael Cole. I was like, I'm good. I don't need to watch this. <laughs> what is he watching, dude? Yeah, a few years later, uh, I'm in middle school. And uh, I'm just channel something. I'm sitting home alone. My family's out doing something I didn't really want to do. I just want to you know, chill at home. Sure. Channel surfing, and the boogeyman comes up on the screen. Okay. And I'm the boogeyman. Yeah, and it's it's very interesting because it was like a horror movie, but also combat fighting. And I really wanted to do MMA before professional wrestling. Sure. Because I liked combat sports like Bruce Lee and all the things. Yeah. But uh. As an artist, I didn't feel like I could fully express myself in there as a way I could professional wrestling, so it drew me in. And I remember yeah. watching The Boogeyman, and from then on, I was hooked. I had my siblings watching with me the following night at SmackDown, and I discovered Monday Night Raw from the replays they would do. Yeah. That. I grew up with the internet, so it was easy for me to like search stuff. I remember channel surfing late at night again, and watching the replay of TNA Impact. Yeah. Like staying in LAX for the first time, uh, finding New Japan, like it was just, Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Just got deeper and deeper.